once we've understood all the variables the next thing that we need to do is identify the character variables and convert them into numeric variables we've already run the proc contents on this data and we've identified one character variable which is exclude underscore ind now let's investigate this variable further so the first step is to check the frequency distribution of the various classes in this field. So let's run a simple proc frec on this data. We've run a proc frec on uh, exclude underscore ind and we can see that there are three categories in this d, n and y and we can see the breakup of the, of the dependent variable gt2 by these three classes. So we can see that there are three distinct classes D, N and Y and exclude underscore I and D. The next step for us is to convert this variable into continuous variable. Now if you remember the way to convert a categorical variable into a continuous variable is to create dummy variables. So in this case we will create three new dummy variables. We will create exclude underscore I and D underscore D and exclude underscore ind underscore n and exclude underscore ind underscore y. We are creating three dummy variables to convert this one variable exclude underscore ind which has three distinct classes. So for each class we are creating a dummy variable and what we are saying is if exclude underscore ind is equal to d then exclude underscore ind underscore d is equal to 1 else it's 0. So we are creating these three dummy variables that will take a value of 0 or 1 depending on the value of exclude underscore ind variable. Let's run this code now and let's go to the log to see that this has come out okay. So we can see that the code has run okay. Now let's do a frequency distribution check on the new variables that we've created. So we can see that the three variables have been created and the frequency distribution is similar to what we had seen earlier when we did the proc frec for exclude underscore ind. So the code has run okay and we have three new variables now in the data set.